Newcomer in den Startlöchern mit dem Unity One hat das Spiel schon startet. So we are on German news and it's a really big TV channel. Hello everyone. So if you've been watching the news lately, you might have seen one or two of these articles. The thing is that we've just reached 500 million kroners, or around 50 million euros worth of pre-orders. And this is fantastic news, of course. We're really thankful for all the support we've got from everybody who's pre-ordered the car. And we're really excited for you all to be the first Unity One owners. So as you may already know, we're partnering with E.ON to provide solar energy when charging our Unity vehicles. So E.ON has been working really hard on growing in the EV space as well as renewable energy. So we're outside a parking garage. And the reason we're outside a parking garage is actually because E.ON is inside here, our collaborator. So E.ON is an energy company and they of course provide energy for the electric cars via their charging stations that they're installing all over Malmö and all over Sweden. And in six months, they've installed a hundred charging stations in only Malmö, so it's pretty impressive. And yeah. today we're at an uh, inauguration ceremony for their newest charging stations. Let's go inside. I'm heading the business development in the Nordics, so I've been working with this agreement together with Unity to make sure that we provide Unity owners with a pure ele solar electricity when you purchase the car. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? 100% renewable. renewable. Free energy for five years. From the sun! I'm Mark Hoffman. Now I'm CEO of VD for Aeon in the Nordics. So what do you think of Unity? I think it's really exciting. It's, an, it's a view on it um, and a bold move to look into, um, into transport in a different way. With a fresh pair of eyes in uh, mobility concepts, digital concepts and customer experience. Early on searching right partnerships and I think we are right partner for it. You have your modern transport, it's a great experience and you do really a sustainable thing. Well, my name is Ole Johansson. I'm the CEO of Power Circle. Do you drive an electric car yourself? Yeah, I do, and I've been driven on electricity for the last four years. Have you ever run out of battery? No, I haven't. Not yet. What do you think of Unity? I think it's a super cool vehicle, and, and this kind of vehicle type, I think, is a, a necessity to, to reach our goals uh, in the transportation sector. Is it easier to get around with an EV now compared to when you bought it? Yeah, it is. There are more and more charging stations uh, along the way. Also, the range of the vehicles is increasing. How many charging stations are there in Sweden right now? Well, today in Sweden we have some 5,000 charging points spread across all Sweden. We expect doubling in like 15 months or something. So all of these new stations popping up are great, but we know that people sometimes get confused when you talk about chargers because there's many different kinds and ways to charge a car. So we thought that we will clear that up. To start with the ones just mentioned, they're public charge stations, meaning that anyone can use them. And of course the private charge stations, if you live far away from a public charger, for example, you can install one at home, just like we've done outside of this building. Although this might not be necessary because there are a lot of different plugs and cables, as we're going to show you right now. So let's start with the Type 1 connector. It's commonly used in Japan and North America. And if you were to charge a Unity car with this charger, it'll charge the car in around three hours. And then there is the Type 2 plug, more commonly used here in Europe. This is a bit more flexible because using the same cable, you can use single phase AC, three phase AC or DC. Moving on, if you were to use the Type 2 charger with three phase AC, you would need a plug on the other side looking like this. And you could then charge the Unity car in just half an hour. And then, as I've mentioned before, you might not even need a charging station. You can actually plug this charging cable into any wall outlet. So this is actually a cable from Charge Amps, which is a Swedish company. And if you were to use this cable with the Unity vehicle, it would take approximately 6.3 hours to charge the car. And you can plug it in anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Nice. However, for fast charging, this plug plus two plugs at the bottom called Type 2 CCS, which means you can use DC power and AC power in the same plug. And hypothetically, if you were to use all this power, you could charge the Unity in approximately eight minutes. However, more realistically, it would be 25. Which is still pretty impressive. And before we end this episode, we'd like to tell you that we have a new website. Ta -da -da! And be sure to check that out as it includes lots of new interesting footage and videos and content and uh, share it with your friends and family. 
Finally, as you may know, the World Cup is going on, so we have a little something for you to do in between the games. We've made one unique design of the Unity One, corresponding to each of the 32 countries currently playing in Russia. So if you visit our Facebook page right now, you'll see that the group plays on. And if you want to participate, you just vote on the most beautiful design in each group to decide which cars are going to the final rounds. Thank you for us. That was all about charging. Stay charged!